So today is Chiron's 40th birthday and for those of you that don't know, Chiron is considered to be an asteroid planet. He came into our solar system 40 years ago today and created his own orbit around the sun between Saturn and Uranus. And this is very exciting because tomorrow is the Chiron Saturn square and Saturn also trines Uranus. And we're going to show you how this is presenting in our life at the moment. <laughs> So in 2009 I bought a property and I was at the peak of my career. It felt like the right thing to do, you know, socially, the age that I was, the profession that I had and so I purchased this property on my own and at the time it felt really good, it felt like quite an achievement. Probably at a deeper level it gave me a real sense of safety and security and, and that I'd, I'd made it in a sense. It was all an illusion. <laughs> Rhett and I got together in 2011 and the property was not appropriate for our needs. So we got some tenants in and since then we've just been waiting for the right time to sell the property. Now we've got it on the market. Our tenants just moved out last weekend and so today we're heading up there to do a sage and a Hollywood cleanse. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just finding it really curious as we celebrate Chiron's 40th birthday today and um, thinking back when I bought this house you know, it's very much in a, a Chiron archetypal state, which I'm just putting the pieces together today. I was lecturing when I bought this townhouse and I, I taught at Endeavour the whole time I was here, lecturing Chinese medicine and acupuncture. And I was doing a lot of treatment when I was here too, a lot of acupuncture. And I was teaching Kundalini Yoga uh, down in the double car garage. So it really has a Chiron theme just being here today. We come forward to the light of truth and unity to acknowledge these energies that exist here and now. We intend to breathe the life force of the one through this plane of time to wash through and address the aberrant entities and clear the stagnant energies which are here. We ask our divine selves to open a portal of light so that these elements may now find the resources to return to the one source light of God. See that you are free now, aspects of time. Find yourself in a place where there is peace laid out before you, which defies all logic of this plane. Come to see that now as you choose to merge forth into the light of unity once more. This house is not a resonance to you anymore and you have the option to return to the light of God or return to your source point. We ask our divine spirits of truth to usher all dimensional aspects unwilling to transit into the light of God to be returned to their original source point of call. We ask that this space and this home be returned to the organic divine blueprint and that all divergent energies remaining here be cleared so that the new occupants may reside here with the opportunity to live in accordance with their highest truth. With this stated from our hearts, we cast this forward into the light of truth and unity. Sat Nam. On such to God, such have a such Nanaka Hosi Bay, such.
Thank you.